Today we're talking to Barbara Hannah Grufferman. Barbara Hannah Grufferman is an award-winning journalist, Huffington Post blogger, and the author of The Best of Everything After 50, The Expert's Guide to Style, Sex, Health, Money, and More. And while she was writing this book, she lost 15 pounds, stopped being so tired, and beefed up her exercise routine. So she'll tell us how she did that. She's been on many TV and radio shows, is a popular speaker, and also the positive living expert for AARP with a new web series on YouTube dedicated to being fit and fabulous. And we're also going to talk about a little known fact about what happens to our levels of happiness as we get older. It's not what you think. Barbara, thanks so much for coming today. Thank you, Tessa, for having me. You're very welcome. So first of all, we're going to do our cocktail. Okay, and it's Great. a healthy, <laughs> low calorie bun. So don't worry if we if we spill, it's just it's all very casual. So just would you like to do the honors? Oh, I'd the... be delighted. I have a feeling this might make us happy indeed. <laughs> we're, we're off to a good start. <laughs> yes. This is called a ginger sacatini and it's sake oh. rice wine, which is good Ooh, for let's us. Let's get all of that in there. Ooh, yep. very nice. That's the fresh ginger. Okay. You steep the sake in ginger. I love doing this. Yeah, I don't get then, to do it nearly enough. <laughs> we don't have enough enough cocktails in our lives. That's exactly right. It smells so good. Oh I gosh. feel always feel like that. Mm. ooh, very fresh, mm. very fresh, mm. shaken, not shake stirred. Shake it, baby, shake it. Right. Drain. May I? Yes, please do. I'm going to move this out of the way. Not too much because I, I've heard we, it's quite potent we indeed. Don't want, we don't want to be silly. There. Okay. So this is the sake rice wine. And um, sake is actually very good. People put it on their skin because it keeps moisture in your skin, apparently. And it's very also cool. good for age spots. Who knew? Really? Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. You put it directly on your skin? Yes. And But the trouble is it's not stable when you put it with pharmaceuticals. So it's very hard to buy this rice wine in a product that you could put on your skin. But people actually put the rice wine itself. Directly on their skin. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah. So, so now what do we do? This, we're going to add the ginger ale. This is okay. ginger ale in here. Just slosh and sploosh. Just slosh yeah. and Okay. This is great. It's very sophisticated. Very isn't it? and it just sounds very yummy. Yeah. Yummy is good. <laughs> <laughs> and then one, this is candied ginger, which is actually delicious. Oh how lovely. It's quite high. I hope you don't mind if I use my I fingers. Don't mind. Okay. You use your plop, fingers. Plop, plop, fizz, plop. fizz. <laughs> and then some lemon rind. Thank you. And you can do what you want. You can dump it or you can I'm just going to dump it in and let it float around a little bit. Get happy. Mm. <laughs> All right, so let's try it. All okay. Right. Oh, yours is much more elegant looking. Well, we've got a choice. Cheers. Let's give it a go. Cheers. Chin chin. To happiness. Yes. To positive living. Mm. Fabulous. That's very nice. There's no bite at the back of the throat. No. There's a gentle wine but lemony and gingery taste. How elegant. So, the best of everything after 50. Before we go any further, this is not just for after 50. You know, if you are in your 40s, I've just turned 50, so I completely sympathize with not wanting to think about being 50. Welcome to the best club in the world, <laughs> may I add. People have said that to me. I was really it touched. Is. Yes. Absolutely yeah. is. And you're right about that. Even though it says for after 50, right. and it is geared for women primarily, although men can use a lot of this information too, for those after 50, but it really is something that could be read by anybody, yeah. especially if they want to prevent certain things yes. from, that can happen so good much habits. more easily. Start good habits Especially early. illnesses and diseases and things like osteoporosis. I mean, I cover a lot of information that is health and fitness related that can help you to prevent any of these things from happening happening as you get older. Right, right, yes, it's preventative. Now tell us, how did it come about that you lost 15 pounds mm. from writing the chapter? Each chapter deals with a different issue, so writing the nutrition chapter. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, what happened with me, and I think that this is true of a lot of women, a lot of women I've spoken with over the last few years, is that when I turned 50, it was, what? 
how in the world did that happen? <laughs> how did I get I was you? just in my 20s, 30s, 40s. To me, that seemed like one long decade. Like, right. you know, I went through school and then worked and got married, had my children, and it goes on and on and on. I was so busy with life, with everything that I was doing that the years just sped by. Right. And then there I was, 50, and I wasn't sure what to do. I really was very confused. And I had already gone through menopause a little early, at right. 48, 49. Yeah. And so I, as a result of that, I started to very slowly put on those post-menopausal pounds. So by the time I hit 50, and really it's because I hadn't changed anything that I was doing. I hadn't changed right. how That's I was eating. That's what you don't realize is you I have to make changes. You yes. have to make changes. So, so tiring. when I turned 50, I was 15 pounds overweight. Unsure about everything, my hair, my makeup, my clothes, what, Ellen meaning, Barkin. Meaning what was going to happen What to was you? going to happen, what I should be doing. Right. And not that I think that we should necessarily live by rules, but right. I do think that there are certain guidelines that really make sense, For especially sure. yeah. when it comes to our health and our fitness right. and nutrition mm -hmm. and what vitamins we should be taking or not taking. And everything and that was is really in here. Everything. Yeah. This is a true resource book, and I'd really like to say, and it's true, I wrote this book for me. So mm -hmm. what I decided to do was, well, first I went to the internet. Well, what happens then? This is, the, this is kind of a pro and con of the internet, mm -hmm. is there's so much information out there. Right. I started to Google things like, what's the best way for me to eat to lose these 15 pounds? Eat more protein, one said. Eat less protein, one right. said. It was so conflicting. Too much. I said, this is too much noise for me. I'm getting more and more confused, and I wanted to just put the proverbial blanket over my head or run for the hills or run for the you know, to the nearest I'm plastic moves. surgeon. And yeah. I did none of those and decided, okay, stop. I want to take control. I want to plan. So I made a wish list of some of the best experts in all of these fields from hair, makeup, health, nutrition, everything, career, money, and said, I want to speak to them and I want to find out what I should do. And so, so was, I did. So was their advice to you, it must have been personalized, but it, it works for yes everyone. Yes and no. Yes and no. It's I really mean, universal. I'd like to think it was just for me. But yeah. <laughs> no, it is quite universal. And just generally speaking, I had to not complicate it. I had to move my body more and I had to eat less. Right. But interestingly enough, not starve myself. In fact, the nutritionist I spoke with said, get the word diet out of your vocabulary. Right. You're never going to diet again. You're going to eat really, really well. Okay, and so you're going to eat diet. often. So interestingly enough, I was thinking, oh, you have to you know, go all day without eating or, right. or just eat those solid three meals a day. And no, in fact, what I do now and have been doing for four years since I started on this routine. And you've kept the 15 eat, pounds off Absolutely off. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I every, let, well, let's put it this way. This winter, because of the long, yeah. just it was dreary a winter, yeah. I wasn't running as much as I, I've been. So I put on like two or three pounds, but. No, that doesn't count. Does that it? doesn't count. Yeah, no, not like no. the 15. No, not that 15. It doesn't count. Yeah. So what's, what's great, there are two things that really struck me about this book that makes it different from some of the other books that are out there. One is the fact that you do share really some personal stories and personal details that make it really compelling. I don't know, it's just like talking to you actually. Mm -hmm. And the second thing is that you make it really simple. Mm -hmm. When I read the chapter on exercise, for example, it motivated me and I actually started doing what you had said. And when we swapped that email, yes. and I, I said to you, I am, you emailed me and I was hot and sweaty at that very moment from having done your exercise routine. Yay! I actually was, <laughs> so that. So happy to hear that. Well, and it's partly because it was, do this, do that. And it's not because, you know, I, I, I'm too stupid to work out for myself how to go and exercise, but it's because it's step by step, just follow what you say. Yes. Thank you. And, and that happens. was my exact intention. I am the kind of thinker 
um, very linear and I need to simplify things if I'm going to stop myself from getting overwhelmed. And right. I think that's true of oh, so well, many today, women. I mean, I mean we're overwhelmed by everything we're doing yes. already. Yes. Why in the world get more overwhelmed about all the different, um, you know, programs that are out there, how to lose weight. It's like every day this it seems a new diet comes out. Forget all of those yeah. and just do these very simple things. I'm not saying easy to do. Like it's not easy to do 20 push-ups, for example, but you can work up to doing 20 push-ups. Well, that's what you, what made it so simple was that it was so easy to start. But also I think that this is, I think this is a book that is, this is 2013 and I think that this is the type of book you need in 2013. Five years ago, you might not have had to write it quite like this. That's true. I you agree know. with you. I agree with you because there is so much information out yeah. there and more and more yeah. and more every day. Yeah. I think that to be able to take what the best of and distill it and bring it down to a workable, sustainable, sustainable. key word. Right, right. <laughs> because so you, you need to not only be able to do it, you need to do it stay forever. It. And or also for come the long back haul. to it. Yes. So because it was Absolutely. so simple, I started it and then I had to go to England and then and I stopped. But I know because it was so simple that it's going to be easy for me to start again. Absolutely. So that's, and not only that, quite frankly, not a great excuse that you were in England because the know. let's talk about the exercises. They can be done by design. Yes. Anywhere, they can. anytime, they and can. they're free. All you need is to get down preferably that is on a true. rug or a yoga mat if you don't have a rug, <laughs> yeah. and do the push-ups, either modified on your knees or the full, if you can work up to yeah. that. The plank, which is nothing more than, and it's very hard to do, it's a full body workout. It's the up position of a push-up, of a right. full push-up, and right you there. stay and hold everything in. I mean, right. if you can envision that, yes. every bit of you is being held tight like a plank of wood mm -hmm. for 60 seconds or more. Right. Okay. And squats, but done in a certain way. The way squats are very often taught, I've noticed in gyms and the like by trainers, is to go like down, like right at the knee or like oh, right over your knee. Right. And that can hurt your knee. Mm. The way it was taught to me is you do it in a different way, which is explained here, um, that will never hurt your knees. And that's critical as you get oh, old. You don't think about no, these no, things really when you're important. 20. I know. But you do yeah. think about these things when you're 50. Yeah. And and in your 40s, you should also be thinking about you them. You should be you're, thinking about you're coming them. up to it. Sure. So um, you lost the weight by following your own advice Absolutely. on nutrition. Absolutely. And eating. And, and, yeah. and quite feel, may I? <laughs> now that's just showing off. Let's do a little. That's such a nice bicep. Up. I, I'm not going to let you squeeze mine. And it's up. really all from doing the push-ups and doing the plank. And every day I do try to do. But there's another benefit. Yes, wanting to look good yeah. or as good as you can yeah. as you age is it's a nice thing mm. to aim for. But even more important is your health. Mm. You don't want to just be alive when you're in your 60s no, and no. 70s. You, you want, want your to strength. be your... vibrant. You want to be able to, if you fall, to get up. Yes, I mean, your these are the yeah. things we yeah. need to be thinking about now. So, and also fighting osteoporosis. You know, I'm the ambassador for bone health for the National Osteoporosis Foundation and a spokesperson for them. And doing these exact um, fitness exercises in my book are we'll what- Stave that off. Absolutely. And yeah. will keep your bone mass dense. It's a real achievement, I think, everything that Thank you've you. put together in here. So now that you're the spokesperson for the osteoporosis people and AARP, you can only ever be beautiful and strong and slim. Right? <laughs> the you pressure is on. The pressure is on, which is brilliant because <laughs> oh, that's you know, funny. you're going to lose. I mean, you can't not do this. So do you do what's in these chapters every day? I do try to do them every day, maybe five times a week. But yes, I do do them. And you're right about that. For it's example, great. and thank you for mentioning my new video, my weekly video mm -hmm. series for the AARP YouTube channel, mm -hmm. which is where they're they're starting up already. As which are all very week. quick, three minutes or yes. less. Yes, quick and yep. really punchy and to the point. Um, and um, I had to be able to do them. I had to be able to do oh, oh. in front of the camera the push-ups and the plank and oh, the squats so and the running. Been... There's also one on running, believe it or not, a three-minute segment. So that must have been a bit nerve-wracking. 
No, no I because you do it. Because you can do it. <laughs> right. Oh, right. Now, if they asked me to do 100 at one time, I might have gotten that a little freaked no out. But okay. I think that. Um, okay. So doing you're what going I do. to But be... I do do 20 push ups and I do 20 squats and I do a 60 second plank. I've worked my way up now to a two minute plank. One of them. One of them. But then I give myself a 10 second break and I do it all over again. And if I have. A time limit, I just do two sets, otherwise I aim for three. That's less okay. than 15 20 push-ups. 20, 20 push -ups, squats. 20 squats. Done Done the proper, proper way, though. I really feel very strongly about that because you can hurt your knees yes. okay. if not done right. Okay. Right? All right. And, and then, then a two or three planks total are you doing now? Right. Well, a 60-second or a two-minute plank. Do those three things and then take a 10 second break and then do it all over again. And don't check your email in between in that no. 10 seconds because it will turn into two minutes. Absolutely. Minutes. Take a yeah. little slug of water if you need to right. and then do it all over again. If you okay. can do three sets, that's a great workout. We'll get, we'll get muscles That's a great like workout. Wow. Now the thing with the plank, I'm a huge believer yes, in that. I like the For plank. example, if you said, Barbara, what is that one thing? If you could only do one right. yeah. thing, yeah. Every day, what would it be? I mean, hopefully you can do more than that. It would be the plank. Because the plank works out every single... If you're squeezing It is everything. the most amazing thing. Yeah. Every part of your body. Right. From your legs all the way up to your hips, to your core, your back, your butt, if you don't mind my saying so, your arms. Mind. It's amazing. So no, no exercise, no music, no videos, nothing else is needed just really to do not. that routine. You know what's needed? The desire to do it. Yeah. You know what my, my, my own personal mantra is? And it really works for me, and I hope it would work for you and for everyone listening. We can't control getting older, but we can control how we do it. Yes. So the yes. choice is yours. Yes. Yeah, I mean, you could do these or you could choose not to do these. Right. You could choose to say, oh my gosh, I need to go to a gym or a workout class yeah, or no, get a I, trainer and then do so, nothing. That's a, such a time commitment and it and can a be money expensive. commitment too. Yeah, yeah. What I've started doing is twinning in my mind, brushing my teeth with 10 minutes yoga. But I, so I have a little mat in my bathroom, but I can do, I can add the plank to that. You should. Without any trouble. You should. Now, yeah. yoga is a wonderful thing on a lot of levels for a lot of reasons. It just is a, a wonderful thing to do for your body, your mind, and your, and mind. your spirit. Yes. Yeah. It, it is. Yeah. But it is not the only thing that women should be doing to really fight off osteoporosis, for example. No, for sure. You need to do yeah. that. You need that, the impact. That. You do. You need yeah. that weight-bearing, um, you know, running and walking. Running is a great thing to do. Yeah. With walk breaks by the way. Yes, no, Again, that was what's so great about it. Mm -hmm. I actually bought a little thing that goes on your thumb and I and it buzzes every minute so that I can work out now I have to run again. That's great. Yeah, it's it's um I forget a swift starter or something. That's wonderful. Yeah. That's wonderful. Yeah. But that way you can just go. I keep my sneakers in the car. Yes. So that I can just go in whatever I've got on. Yes. And just as long as it's not too cold or too wet. Right. And just get it done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's and it's good for clearing the mind. So, totally. I yeah. come up with my best ideas when yeah. I'm running. Yeah. Um, in fact, I wrote an article last year called "The Meditative Power of Running." Mm. And it's really true. It really works. You know, I ran the New York City Marathon last year you by did? doing the walk to celebrate my 55th birthday doing the walk run program and I did it the whole way and I did it in five and a half hours. Wow. <laughs> and did you have any adverse effects? It's a long time. Well, it's but even so, that's a long, it's a long marathon. I was expecting you like, it's Barbara, really? It's 26 miles, really? Yeah. yeah no, my is. God, I'm just amazed that you actually did it. I, oh, I've done so some happy. 5Ks and I always come in with the car behind me with the flashing light. I'm the last <laughs> person that comes. But as long as you complete it, so no. Right, I wasn't the last person, not at all, but there were plenty behind me, amazingly enough. That is amazing. But it's actually this age group that is the, um, the real growth factor in marathons. Huh. Mm -hmm. And did you have adverse effects because you must have done a lot of training and... Very simple training. I just kept adding uh, one mile every week to my long run. 
Okay. And it was walk, run, walk, run the whole way. The whole way through, just the like the whole way in through. Here. Except at yeah. the very end, then I, you know, for photo ops, I had to <laughs> no no walking. <laughs> so now, you know, one of the things that um, was a surprise to me in this book, and you said you nailed it, just as I was thinking. Oh, I was being surprised. You said, now don't be surprised. Uh, was the first chapter about health, which is not sort of a touchy feely, let's have fun. Mm -hmm experience so mm -hmm. tell us why what made you put that chapter first mm -hmm. is it the most important chapter absolutely yeah. there you go I mean that okay. is the reason in the words of Frederick Fakai who I consulted with about hair really it was more about graying hair in oh. that case okay. he and I had a wonderful conversation about how to handle gray hair what's the most modern way to handle gray hair really which is okay a fact I haven't of, got to that bit I need oh, it's, to though it's really it was fantastic yeah. but what he said he said Barbara what I I do and what we're talking about now is the icing on the cake what's the most important thing that you're focusing on because I explained the whole concept mm -hmm. of the book to him of course during our meeting is the health the health right. and fitness because you need to take control and yeah. have a plan yeah. if you're going to be able and this is this is the critical point to be able to not only do everything you want to do in life and there are many things I want to do mm. still mm -hmm. but the things that you have to do now what does that mean let's take me as a really good example I have a daughter in a uh, freshman and a daughter who's a freshman in high school a daughter who's a freshman in college they still need me yes for mm. many more years mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I have a mother and a mother-in-law you're a sandwich both of who mm -hmm. just were diagnosed with Alzheimer's and one of whom has cancer so it's this is so common and yeah. so typical. So I'm squeezed into that sandwich mm. and it's very involving. And if I don't have this energy, yeah. if I don't have my energy and my fitness and my vitality, I can't possibly do it all. How can I take care of no, them you can't. if you I can't. don't take care of me yeah. first? It's like being on the airplane where you have to put the oxygen on yourself exactly. first before the child. That's right. So was it the exercise and the nutrition in here that also gave you back more energy, stopped you Absolutely. being less tired, was it? Absolutely. And you know, all of these dots are connected. Mm. It's so incredible. One site, because I started to truly feel like this was it for me. I really did. I thought, okay, I'm going to do I give up? Get, do I just yeah, accept do I, this? I'm star I was starting to give up. I was. And this is true of a lot of women. Mm. And that's why it's so important to me personally to get my message right. out there. Because it doesn't have to be like in, that. In any way I can. Right. Because no, it doesn't have to be like that. But once I started to see that I could change this, that I, w I could feel better and look better and be healthier. By the way, as a result of all this, my health check numbers improved. My cholesterol numbers improved. My blood pressure numbers improved. They were never bad, mm. but they got better. Were they in orange? Were they on that sort of borderline? They or? were starting to be borderline, but so was my, my bone mass was the real borderline problem for me. And, and that, that reversed? totally reversed it slightly, but stopped it in its tracks. Right. That's really the critical factor. And you did it all on your own, because one of the things I was thinking... All on thinking, my own, except, I, well, with their guidance, but just... Right, right, right. But we had... I took um, good notes. <laughs> <laughs> we had a, a pasta dinner here last night for my son's baseball team, and four of us girls were sitting chatting, and they saw this book, and we're in a book group, and they said, we should do this for our book group. And, you know, if there's an accountability or even just a group of you, then I think even That's though brilliant. it's not fiction, it's not, um, you know, but we're going to have this as our, our book of the month because I think it, first, there's a lot of material in here. You can't, um, you can't just whiz through it, you know. No, it's, it's comprehensive. It's, 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 it's a worth true taking resource time. Book. And also, I think it's good to discuss with girlfriends because it, it feels better. It's more fun. You can sit down, you know, you can... Mm -hmm. You can enjoy it more, mm -hmm. I think. So interesting that you called it an accountability group. Um, I'm a big believer in that for women who are feeling stuck in general, whether it's about their health, their weight, their fitness, their style, yeah. their, their job, Anything. their relationship, whatever it is. Yeah. But if you, and I advise women to do this all the time, if you could create, a, even if it's one person, yes, yeah. a small advisory group, and you meet once a week if you can, yeah. really to, religiously. To walk or to do something and to you set that sit, time. And then each person gets like 10 or 15 minutes to say what they need to talk about. Right. 
and then the other person does, the other person does. But the key factor here is that the group needs to ask that person, so did you do yes. yeah. blankety blank blank what you said you were going to do right. last and no week? Blame. It's the accountability. Right. And no, each meeting but starts so anew. Good. Yes, don't waste any energy on I didn't do it. Doesn't right. matter, it's over. It's only what you do now that's going to make the difference. And mm -hmm. so just to get rid of the last week. Because mm -hmm. I think when we set goals, goals are like dreams. And so very often when they don't come to pass, it's because they were a dream. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we didn't make them specific enough. Yes. So if they're very specific and we have that accountability, then I think that it could, it can really be a blast. I mean, it's, it's a transformation in a book is what it is. Yes, yeah, I, I really hope with this and with everything I do as a result of this, speaking and writing in other places, that it does help women to transform. You know, you mentioned about goals and dreams and, you know, when you're 20 and, and just starting out in life yeah. or it's you, it's just a whole different mindset about dreams and how possibilities. you possibilities and possibility. And very often, and it shouldn't be this way and it doesn't, it doesn't have, have to, to be, be this right, way at right, all. Right. But very often women, especially in this country, because of the way that we view aging mm -hmm. and the way the media portrays aging women yes, yes. and how we really talk about youth is beautiful, youth yes. is better. It's an get, ageist get, society. Get, it's just, it, all of that yeah, yeah. can just wreak such havoc. With, with women's yes, minds. Yeah, yeah. And the, so dreams and goals can just like, what what dreams? Well, what two, dreams yes. are, so, are left for me? Yes, so, so just a blank page. This is page. an issue. Yes, it's an issue, a blank page and go back to that wishing, if I could wave a magic wand, this is what I would have. Mm -hmm. But to that, speak about, um, we discussed earlier about the study about levels of happiness. Mm -hmm. What happens to our levels of happiness as we get older? Mm -hmm. It's so interesting. Um, it is a bit of a curve, and we're very, very happy when we're young. And then as we go into our tw uh, like 30s and 40s, when we're you know working and children and like everything, it's very overwhelming. Mm -hmm. We get, I, apparently our, our right down. unhappiness kind of creeps in, and we get to we're, we're more dissatisfied. I think that maybe we're not living up to our expectations expectations very often or what our own dreams and goals were right, right. Um, because real life crept in and a lot of different reasons. So but right then down apparently to the midlife crisis. To the right midlife down. crisis. Which is what age now is that? It's really crisis? like 50 and that's okay. the point where All I right. was. We're like, what? What is this? What's happened to me? And is this it for me? And a lot of people stay in there yeah. for a while. Mm. But then a lot of them, and as I would like to think a lot of them because they've read my book. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a, yeah, it's a tool. It's, it's a, tool a tool for that. If you're exactly. stuck in the U-bend and you want to start the climb back up again, this is a good place to start. Absolutely. Yeah. But actually, it turns out, and this is such great news for all of us, that as we get older, our happiness does, in fact, come back. Right. And I think so. A it lot doesn't of it, keep deteriorating the way that an ageist society would have us believe. Not according to a lot of the studies yeah. that have uh, that I've read that have come out in you know recent this past year. Um, it's it's a very interesting phenomenon. And uh, but we're talking about older. We're talking about like out of your fifties. Right. Then you start to, and I think it's an acceptance factor. Yes. Yes. Of, okay, Partly. like settling yes. into what this new phase of life is. Yeah. It's this, um, and I wouldn't even call it a midlife crisis. I suppose it is a midlife crisis, but I just feel like that's such a cliche. Yeah. You always think of like, you know, the guy I know. going and off with a 20 year old. I know, it's how you feel. <laughs> Everyone should be encouraged who, you know, is not quite 50 or in, in his or her 50s and grappling with all these issues and questions like I did. But you should be encouraged because. You can take control you can. of not yeah. all of it, no. of course, but enough but to make enough you feel to make good. a difference yes. in how you yeah. feel yeah. Yeah. about yeah. yourself and your life and your yes. future. Yeah, yep. She's on a mission. The best of everything after fifty. Thank you very much for coming Thank today. Thank you so much for having me. It was fun. Thank you. It's good fun. <laughs> and thanks for tuning in. See you next time.